What's up everybody, it's Parker with BI Elite. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to validate email addresses in Power BI. To do this, we're gonna call the Impactful Email Validation API. If you wanna check it out, you'll just need to go to impactful.com. The link will be down in the description. This is actually my own website. We're currently building some really cool social media and business application dashboards, and we're not quite finished. But in order to enrich some of the data sets that we were using, we created some internal APIs, and we realized that we wanted to open up these API endpoints for everybody for free. So currently we have our email validation endpoint available. So this endpoint is going to allow you to validate email addresses in a nice and simple way for free. So you can just go to impactful.com and you'll see this option for email validation. You can click on it and understand what this email validation process is actually doing. It's going to run your email addresses through a series of checks. Firstly, it's going to check if the email address is correctly formed. It's then going to check if the email domain is on any common block lists. And finally, it's going to check to see if that email address has an MX DNS record set up, which is going to let you know if that email can even receive mail. So after it's gone through these three checks, it's gonna spit out a valid or invalid status and a reason letting you know why it chose valid or invalid. This is really helpful in case you have compiled a list of email addresses for a mailing list and you don't want to send out extra emails to addresses that aren't actually real. In my case, uh, I'm charged by the send. So every email that I send is charging me a little bit of money. So I want to make sure I'm only sending to people that are actually email addresses. So in order to validate these emails, you have a couple of options. You can either upload a file directly and our API will run and give you those results on the same Excel file, or you can call the API, uh, which we have baked into a sample Power BI file. So if you download this Power BI file from the blog link in the description and plug in your API key, you will be able to run this validation in a nice easy way directly from Power BI. So firstly, I'm gonna go back to impactful.com and let's check out the file upload option. It's extremely easy to do. Firstly, you need to sign up for the website. Uh, if you navigate to this page, it's gonna ask you to register. Remember that this is free. Uh, everyone will get 5,000 free API calls per month. If you are a student of BI Elite training, you'll get an extra 5,000, so a total of 10,000 free API calls per month or 10,000 email validations per month. And then all you need to do is click on choose file and I'm going to select an Excel file and then you click upload. After just a few seconds, it's going to spit back an Excel file for you to download, and you can download that and check out what the results look like. So starting with just a column of emails, I now have a column for validation and a column for that validation reason. So that's extremely easy to do with the file upload option. If you do upload a file with, let's say, a thousand or more records, it may take a little while, so you'll have to be patient. And if you found this video because you like my Power BI content, you probably want to know how you can do this within Power BI. So again, you just need to download the template from the blog post down in the description. Once you open it up, you'll just have to follow three easy steps in order to run the validation on your email addresses. Step one, you need to open up the query editor and enter in your own API key. So in order to get your API key, you need to come back to Impactful and there's an API key option in the navigation bar. So click on that. It's going to show you your API key. You simply need to copy it and come back to Power BI and paste it in the API key parameter. And then we have this function called function validate email. And this has all of the logic in order to actually call that validation. This is sending a post request to the impactful API endpoint. You don't need to worry about anything here, but in case you wanna understand the logic, you can take a look at the Power Query code. And then finally, we have a query called emails, and I just have five sample emails here, but you can connect to your own file full of email addresses if you like and we're calling that custom function and breaking out those result columns. So you don't need to do anything if you download the Power BI template file provided in that blog post. So once you have your working API key in the query editor, you can close and apply. And then every time you click refresh, it's going to run that validation on the email addresses in your emails table. And that's it. You'll have your validations. You'll have this nice breakdown of emails by valid status and by the reason for the validation. And you can do even more with this data on your own. So I hope you get a lot out of this free API endpoint. Uh, in the near future, we'll be adding a couple new API endpoints for sentiment analysis and language detection as well. So definitely stay tuned. Again, this is free for everybody. 5,000 free API calls per month. If you are a student of BI Elite training, you get an extra 5,000 free API calls per month. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, click the like button, and I'll see you in the next video.